Hello there, and Merry Christmas. My name is Mac Horse, and here is a brief video of some new stuff that you'll see in the next updates of my mods. So, these features are completely in the random order. Now mouse cursor, and mouse buttons presses are separate options. This is quite useful if you still want to show mouse button presses, but not the cursor itself. I also added display of mouse wheel scrolling. This looks pretty sick. It even shows in which direction it scrolls. Keyframe elements got two new context menu items. View all keyframes, and select all. These are quite useful. First zooms in or out to view all keyframes, and the other one selects all keyframes. These actions can be also used by hovering the cursor in the view, and pressing following keys. Speaking of keyframes, another cool thing is that manual movement recorded with manual fixture can be converted to keyframes. This allows you to post process manually recorded movement, and adjust it to your liking. Still within the camera editor, I added tick markers which should allow you to navigate within the timeline much easier when zoomed in. Still about GUI stuff, I optimized the rendering of GUIs a bit, and now some menus, with a lot of hidden elements in scroll areas, like creative morph menu, should be less laggy. Item slots elements now have their own context menu too, which allows you either to acquire an item, which is useful in case you discarded an item, but you still have it somewhere either in the player recording editor, model block, or body part slots. And finally last, but not least feature of GUI, is that you can now copy transformations through context menus. Beside that, poses can also be copied from morph editor to pose panel in the model editor, and the other way around. Now some neat features, that are not necessarily our GUI quality of life features. Model block command was added which allows you to change the morph, or hide or reveal it. This command could be useful for toggleable decorations. Then we have simple plus new emoticons model type. It looks similar to simple model type, however, it has these nice sharp edges on knee, elbow and body joints. It's still quite experimental, but I think it looks very nice. And finally there are two really amazing and neat features, which are tightly connected. First one is animation preview in the sequencer morph. A lot of people prefer using sequencer morph for fight scenes, as it's easy to set sequence of morph animations, so I added it to make animations much easier to preview. And the second feature that comes with it, is body parts transformations are now also animated. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out why it's cool by yourself. Anyways, that's it. Even though these features aren't revolutionary, I think they will be quite useful. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next year.